on TikTok is God is just being. And I help people realize that they're their own savior. I teach people how to save themselves. Mm -hmm. I teach people how to heal themselves. Yeah. I teach people how to renew their mind. Yeah. That's what I do. <laughs> I have two pages over here. I'm live on God is just be. And over here, I'm live on God is just be healthy. I teach physical and spiritual aspects of saving yourself because it don't matter. It's just God expressing yourself at a de different frequency, all its energy, frequency, and vibration. We have 499 likes over here. Y'all, 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 y'all a little behind. We got that 1.7 likes over here. We waiting on y'all. Tap the screen over there. Hey, Monique. Monique, you could show them how to tap the screen so we can get started. So while I'm waiting on the 1,000 likes over here, <sighs> why is this important? Why is healing for your blood type important? because your blood has memory your blood has memory and because it's so magical in 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 remembers because there's nothing new under the sun we've been doing this thing for eons it remembers what you because you the ancestors do but you probably don't remember that <laughs> it remembers the food that you ate that electrified your electric body but along the way that man created and manipulated food so much, so now oftentimes the food that we are eating is connecting with our blood and giving us inflammation, causing us to feel dis-ease and disharmony with ourselves. But I'm here to teach you the foods according to the matrix that are in alignment with your blood. That when you eat them because your blood has memory, it's creating a positive chemical reaction to reverse sickness and disease and heal your body. Yeah, this was in the biblical text when they was talking about the blood, when they was talking about renewing the mind. It was telling you in Leviticus not to eat certain foods, that they were unclean. It was always about the blood. It's always going to be about the blood because the blood is a footprint to your DNA. You know, it's power in the blood. And we ain't talking about Jesus' blood. We're talking about your blood. Oh, we made it to a thousand. And so I teach people, thank you, thank you all for helping me to get there. So I teach people this in an effort for them to reverse sickness and disease because that's why people out there said. And so we have different people. We all vibrate on different frequencies. We have four types of blood. We have O's, the original man, the original blood type, the Anunnaki gods, the giants. <laughs> yeah, the meat eaters, the hunters. Then we have A, B, and AB. Four different type of blood if you don't know your blood type is very very important because what I'm gonna be talking about is gonna to pertain to what you need to be eating based upon your blood type I could tell you your personality traits based upon your blood type the type of exercises you um, should do and how your body responds to stress everything is tied to this blood so before we get going somebody type the word Eldon E-L-D-O-N Eldon for those of you who do not know your blood type you go to Amazon and you order the Eldon, E-L-D-O-N, at home kit. When you order that kit, you can be in the privacy of your home figuring out what your blood type is. And the kit comes with a little needle that you can prick your ring finger. And it'll tell you after you put the um, blood on the little card, there's a card with four circles on it that comes inside of this here envelope. And you prick your finger and you put that blood on the four circles of the card and the plasma in your blood is going to form an image and so you'll be using this little cheat sheet right here so if your plasma in your blood forms an image like the four uh copper looking pennies on the top row that means you are part of the o bloodline the o negative which is the rarest of them all which has not been tainted which can give blood to everybody could save lives even your own if you knew the power that was in your blood and so this is how you find out. You go to Amazon, you order your Eldon, E-L-D-O-N, at home kit, and now you're gonna find out what your blood type is. After you find out your blood type and what it is, hey Mark, oh, he's Mark O. <laughs> there you go, that's what I'm talking about. Put your name on it. There's some O's in this house. There's some O's in this house. Where the God's at? Y'all up in here? I know y'all here. I can feel y'all. I like it when y'all grace me with your presence. 
So after you find out your blood type, then you can go to my website. Link is in my bio. This is what we call a bio for those of you that are new. You get here by clicking on my picture at the top. The little cute little picture of me with the little white wrap up there. You click on that picture and you'll get here. This is a bio. And so when you get here, my website link is in my bio. It's bolded, www.saltoftheearthpub.org. It's actually right here too, but you got to add the dot .org. And either way, whether you go to the bio or you put this here in your Chrome, <coughs> excuse me, your Chrome search bar, this is how, this is where you're going to get. Same place, you're going to get here. Y'all go them O's. I know y'all was up in here. I felt you, man. I know O's energy. I felt you up in here. So you don't even have to scroll down. These four, first black bars is everything that you really need. You can scroll down and look at all the other products that I sell and stuff down here if you want to. But at the top, right there is it pertain to everything we're going to be talking about. The first thing is going to be a detox. You have parasites. You're weak. You get bloated. You have irritable bowel syndrome. You can't see. You're wearing glasses. You got vertigo. You have thyroid issues. You're anemic. First thing first, you need a detox. Sustained detox to help you will rid your body of parasites and old fecal matter at a cellular level so that you'll be able to eliminate and absorb your minerals again. The next one is if you just want to find out um, your highly beneficial food list. Just the list itself. That's something that I actually just added yesterday. Just the list itself. It's only the list itself for your blood type based upon your blood type. The next one is the list plus a meal plan. Because a lot of y'all going to get the list and be like, I ain't never heard of some of this here stuff. And on the third um, bar is giving you a meal plan with the highly beneficial food list. The fourth bar is going to be a meal plan, the highly beneficial food list, things to avoid, the at-home herbal potion, which is a potion that a allow you to rid the body of parasites and sickness. So if you ever get sick, now that's a potion that you'll be consuming to get back together. If you ever eat something that causes you inflammation, you just take your at-home herbal potion, which is your highly beneficial oil, which is going to be your highly beneficial um, herbs, that's going to detox your body, lubricate that liver, give you your omega-3s. Everybody should be using a herbal potion, even if you're putting it on a salad, giving you your omega threes, decreasing your blood pressure, getting rid of inflammation. That potion, for those of you who have yours already and overlooking it, you don't sleep on your potion because you need to subside that inflammation if it ever rides from you while and out. And everybody ain't going to be probably doing it straight and narrow. So you need to know how to do that. Anyway, it also comes with weight loss cheat codes. Because remember how I said that your blood has memory? Well, because it has memory, not only does it have memory, your stomach have memory. It knows how to shrink back to its original size. Your, your skin has memory. It can retract too. Instead of having to get surgery when you lose weight, well, your skin has memory. So the weight loss cheat code or, or the foods that when you eat them that are in alignment with your blood type, that'll activate your body going into detox mode, going into let's reverse all this fat, let's get rid of this fat and expel it, let's cause her body to retract and lose weight. So you got cheat codes in the in the fourth black ball right there. So it depends upon what you want, where you are in your journey, which one you pick. But I put together those bundles, they're available on my website. Link in bio or go right here, solvetheearthpub.org. Y'all got that part? I had to do my intro. <laughs> hello, hello. Most of y'all already already got y'all stuff and y'all know already figured that part out. Just in case they have new people, because I have to help the new people. All right? So here we go. We're about to get started. We're about to get started, and I want to go over all of the blood types today, so I might be a little long. If you got to leave, it's okay. I'm retired. I manifested retirement, so I ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't going nowhere. First things first. Anybody here that suffers with irritable bowel syndrome? AB positive. There you go. There you go, Lewis. Irritable bowel syndrome. This is how you know that you've been consuming harmful lexins inside of your diet. Because you get these type of things and you wonder why. You think, oh, why me? 
Why am I always sick? Because we put these things in our mouth that don't connect with our blood. Yeah, I'll be here through it all. Mark, you gonna be here? Thank you. Mark, I'd rather die. My O. <laughs> I need me a couple of O's. I need me to be around a couple of O's. Me and O's get along really, really good. Really, really good. Do you experience bloating 30 to 60 minutes after you eat? Do you suffer with joint pain, aches, stiffness that even get worse after you eat? Anybody? None of y'all? Everybody healthy out there? Okay. If I if I call out a symptom, um, press a button on, on OG in the house. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, them OGs. If I call out any of these things and you have it, press a button on, on the phone. Like, don't pre press, press, press a Z. Press the letter Z. We don't want to press the A, B, or O, or nothing like that. Press the letter Z if, if you have this. If you've been told you have fibromyalgia, myalgia, I can't even write. You know they got these crazy names for all this here. You heard of mesothelioma? They got all kind of crazy things. <laughs> Do you suffer with hay fever or seasonal allergies? Now, I know somebody. That go one me. Yeah. Anybody have allergies? Come on now. Allergies? Nobody don't have no allergies. Nobody. Okay, that goes some Z's. That goes some Z's. I know that's right. There we go. That goes some Z's. All right. Anybody experience cloudy thinking 30 to 60 minutes after meals? That goes your sign. Something that you just ate inflames you. This is the sign. You see, I want you to, I'm calling this out because I want you to understand or begin to listen to your body. It's giving you a message, but sometimes we, we have ears and we don't hear. Okay, what about, oh, okay, okay, now a lot of people going to hit the screen for this one here. Do you suffer with acne, rosacea, psoriasis, or eczema? Anybody? I, I said eczema. Uh, I know a lot of people got that thing there. Eczema? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Do you suffer with low thyroid function? Where the moles at? That's a common thing for the moles. Where the moles at? There we go. Thyroid issues. What about if you experience fatigue that increases over the course of the day and it just gets worse, so you just won't go lay down? And you say, uh -uh, I'm just not feeling it today. Remember when you said that? You remember that? Or you experience weight gain after reducing your calorie intake. You still gaining weight? Anybody? That weight loss cheat code would be for you. Or you experience a difficult gaining weight despite consuming more calories? So this is for the little, little, little thin little people that need to gain weight but can't. Do you experience allergic symptoms after eating? Not eating right, yeah. What about the women? Do you experience painful periods or menses? Migraine headaches with your cycle. Anybody experience that? Hot flashes. <laughs> yeah. Painful periods, hot flashes, heavy bleeding, toxicity in the body. Mm -hmm. What about the menopausal women? Are you experiencing excessive Symptoms of hot flashes where you getting drenched wet. This is diet, y'all. This is what the diet do to us. This ain't the devil. This is the food. Back to me saying that the blood and the food that we eat creating a chemical reaction in our body. Men, I don't know. I don't know. Men kind of, they kind of, you know, about that ego. But I'm going to just ask. I don't know if nobody going to press nothing. But are you experiencing erectile dysfunction? I'm gonna just keep going. I ain't even gonna look at. I ain't gonna look at the letter because I ain't even expecting a man even to ask that. They go, not me, not me, no, no. I could, I could get it going. Anyway, <laughs> have you been told that you have an enlarged prostate? Hmm. They put too many chemicals in the food. Yeah, the night sweats. You don't have them. Oh, okay. And children. Has a child been diagnosed with learning disabilities? 
all of these letting us know that there was a chemical reaction that was created between the blood and the food that we've been eating and it is in the body these lectins because that's what it creates lectins that are inflammatory responses based upon what we put in our mouth and this inflammation is like fire this inflammation is the acids we'll we'll call ourselves we'll say it's mucus we'll say um you know we're acidic we'll say um we got high blood pressure. We'll say all of these little fancy little words to say that I'm not eating for my blood type. I'm not honoring my mother and father, the ones before me that already set the tone. And because of that, my blood remembers that. And so now these lectins got in my body and it started with inflammation, but I fell in love with this food because at the same time, it makes me feel good to eat it. Because they, because food is so manipulated now that they're throwing things like high fructose corn syrup to trick your brain into thinking that you want more of this food. But then after you consume it and your body is fighting to digest it, it's causing a fire within. Inflammation, acids, build up, tearing up the walls inside of your large and small intestines, leading you to ulcers, leading you to leaky gut syndrome. You don't care, uh, you don't um, feel that, or you don't do anything about that, then this leaky gut gonna move on down to them kidneys. Because now, they'd already had a hard time filtering out the masses, but now if the leaky gut or the hole or the ulcer opens up into the wall of the, low, um, the abdominal cavity, now you have the kidneys suffering because food is pretty much falling on top of it into the entering to the bloodstream. Why well, it's supposed to be the kidneys, it's supposed to be filtering through the adrenal gland. It has to worry about stuff falling on top of it. And so if, if, if the gut or the body has gotten to this place, trust and believe that they got parasites up in there. Trust and believe that they, the digestive enzymes are out of balance. There isn't any beneficial microbiome diversity up in there. Hydrochloric acid probably be put out. So now, now on top of that, that hole and that also now all of this this h pylori in this candida then built up and parasites and now you got the parasites sucking at us taking the little nutrients that we are getting and this is why we end up talking the doctors are telling us things like oh you 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 a little bit magnesium deprived or oh, you 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 low on d3 yay you, 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 you need some iron. Yeah. Yeah, because, because of all of the things that we allow to just grow and just get out of hand in our, in our diet. And so when that happens, we experience this, this ease. And if we don't know our blood type and know how to reverse that, we experience this ease for a long time. And we end up being a little, little uh, lab rat up in the hospital. And you don't have to be, we don't have to be. We can reverse that because with God's having a, human experience I've been skinny <laughs> you've been skinny yeah so here we go we about to talk we about to talk about all of the blood types today and I want to start off by sharing with you all collectively the weight gain factors for the blood types the weight gain factors and the problematic foods, starting with the O's. Weight gain factor for you O is um, insulin resistance, intestinal dysbiosis, thyroid hormonal imbalance, and inflammation. And the problem, problematic food, the number one, uno, numero, can any of the O's guess it? The number one. Y'all been listening to me. I know y'all up in here. Having a bone marrow biopsy Friday. Huh. Any other O's know? There we go. Monique know. Wheat. Wheat. Now here's something interesting to note. 
no matter what we're talking about here with the O, it's really going to be candida driven, toxicity, uh, yeast. Because you, the interesting thing that a lot of O's don't realize is that their hydrochloric acid, remember I said the O's have the most, um, they're the meat eaters. So be, being the meat eater, they have the most hydrochloric acid, right? <laughs> the damn bread. <laughs> yeah, that damn bread. So being that they're the meat eater and they have the most hydrochloric acid than any other um, um, blood type, the hydrochloric acid could actually be a blessing for them when they eat it right for their blood type when they eat their meats and you know and eating their highly beneficial vegetables on the food list but then it could be a curse for them at the same time too when they're not blessing and a curse the Hawaiian rose <laughs> they got you <job. laughs> that's funny it'll be a blessing and a curse because of the simple fact that O's produce an enzyme that causes bacteria, H. pylori, by, by simply because of the hydrochloric acid being too much when they're not eating right for their blood type, that same hydrochloric acid could cause them to bleed inside of their, inside of their stomach, like, right? So this bleeding and tearing, <laughs> Not eating for the blood type. So, so let's think about this logically. You have a you have a sore right here. We we, we talk. We gotta break this down so you get it. So you have you got a burn. You got a burn on your your arm. This is what's going on in the old stomach because they got a hydrochloric a lot of hydrochloric acid and and they're not eating the proper meats and vegetables to 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 tame it like right to put it to work right so it could break up the right thing no they put in different things up in there and, and adding more fire to it like right so you have if you have a burn right here it's red and inflamed now on top of that burn you go and put some kind of let's say we put wheat on top of the burn that's going to irritate the burn or the skin even the more now you keep on putting more and more wheat on top of it and it's just piling up this here burn being that it needed air to heal it it it, it need not have something sitting on top of it it needed its proper oils you know it's omega trees to heal it needed air yeah but instead inside the gut the oil keep consuming more wheat on the lining of the gut where they were burning at and bleeding at irritating it more this is how this also get there so now being that you put the bread on top now the the inflammation or the sore is being infected by the wheat by the yeast it's getting infected and so this is exactly what happens inside of the lining of the o stomach this is why o's suffer with candida the most o's suffer with thyroid issues the most yeah o's suffer with h pylori the most yeah because of that hydrochloric acid they got which is supposed to be the thing to help them they supposed to be thriving because of it they supposed to be lean mean muscle machines they're the gods remember they're the Anunnakis. remember but they got ulcers. They got peptic ulcers, candida, H. pylori, thyroid issues because of the main culprit being wheat. To reverse that, they need, they see vegetables. See vegetables. See vegetables will help the yeast, the candida, the, the halitosis, the thyroid issues. Because look, you, when you have thyroid issues, you need iodine. That's in your sea vegetables. Sea vegetables, this here product right here behind me, highly beneficial for the O's. Highly beneficial for the O's. It's called Sustain Detox. It's available on my website. Sustain Detox. It has the sea vegetables in it. Highly beneficial sea vegetables for the O's. Clear out H. pylori, candida. Heals ulcers. It's called sustained detox. 
heals ulcers, reverse it. And how you reverse it with sea vegetables is because the sea vegetables is now penetrated in there and helping this H. pylori slide down at a cellular level because so the yeast, back to how the yeast get up in there. So you get the, the yeast get into the crevice of the sore in their stomach lining. It gets buried within because remember they were bleeding from the fire. They were bleeding, so it, it, the yeast is like inside of the lining of the stomach, and only sea vegetables go heal that lining for O's. I'm talking only to the O's with they with they thyroid and they hydrochloric acid issue. So say detox is the healer in that area for them O's. It's gonna provide another thing that O's be lacking too. Iron. It has the highest form of iron in it. It has the sea vegetables inside of it giving them iodine, giving them selenium for that selenium and magnesium for that thyroid. Magnesium is needed in every organ in the body. Yeah. To detox the body. And being that is 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 penetrating at a cellular level is expelling waste and mucus. It's healing the gut. Another tip because this weed is really the culprit for them. I want to give you this um tip. On your meal plan, where it says start here if you're sick, I mean start here if you have thyroid issues too. I don't want to call you sick, but that applies to the thyroid people, the halitosis people, you start here. The, uh, the um, ulcer people, the kidney people, if you have an ailment, start here. Maybe that's what I should have said. And on, that's on the third page. And so that's when I'm sharing with you your at-home herbal potion based upon your blood type if you have the um, meal plan. Don't sleep on that at-home herbal potion because that at-home herbal potion is full of omega-3s which get rid of inflammation which can soothe this sore that's in that gut, oh. So you need your highly beneficial oil. You're getting your six and nines everywhere. You probably have a regular oil that you use that's giving you six and nine, but you need your highest beneficial oil to get your threes because the three omegas those are the ones that heal inflammation those are the ones that provide you the life force that you need those are the ones that's going to soothe that ulcer in there those are the ones that's going to help you get rid of that candida that yeast that h pilaria that halitosis that peptide ulcer Help to lubricate the thyroid issue. Help to lubricate the liver so the gallbladder duct won't be clogged up. Help to lubricate the kidneys. You get this? So the uric acid and the lactic acid build up will be no more. Is anybody listening? You know, don't listen to me. Oh, thank you for the likes. Thank you for tapping the screen. I appreciate you. I just took my horrible portion. I feel so happy for you. See? That's why you're the goddess. Love you so much. Thank you, Mark. Don't sleep. Don't sleep on the potion O's. Y'all know how to finish this. Grandma said a hard head make a what? Hard head make a what? Anybody? Somebody, Grandma. Yeah, yeah. It's it's on the meal plan. Uh, sweet thing. At home, herbal potion is on the meal plan. A soft ass. Hard head make a soft ass because it's right there on the meal plan. And if you ain't ever take it, then guess what? <laughs> You're going to have a soft ass. I had somebody that was saying, oh, um, in previous videos, two people. One was saying, um, I'm feeling inflammation from eating such and such. And I'm like, yeah, what was your blood type? And, I, and they, they told me, I was like, yeah, because that's not your highest beneficial thing. Go with all your highs. If you're feeling inflammation, you can't go to no neutral stuff. Go with all your highs that's on the meal plan. Then another person that say, I feel, uh, um, you know, I, I ain't going in the bedroom, you know. And I was like, so how much water are you drinking? Oh, just a liter. But as an adult, you should be drinking your weight divided into two in ounces of water. So for the average adult, you need to be up to almost a gallon, just a little bit under a gallon, but they were only drinking a liter. So you gotta be hydrated. And so and so I didn't get a chance to ask this person, well, are you, are you consuming your oil? 
If you're going to drink less water, at least, are you lubricating your liver, your kidneys, your, your, your large and small intestines to lubricate that thing to get the old fecal matter soft? So it could slide, so it could do the slippery slope and come up out of there with ease and you don't have to grab a hold to the shower curtain. You ain't got to grab the towel that's on the rack when you're on, on the throne. You could just let it boop and just get up out of there. But hard head make the soft ass. You got to drink water. Somebody type water. You can eat all the, the all you all you want on the highly beneficial food plan, baby. But please drink some water. Come on now. Water. Remember that? Water. Just, 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 just drink some more water. Sometimes that'd be the simple fix. Water. Hydration. Because remember now, water. Let's go back in. Let's break that thing down. H. Two O, hydrogen and oxygen. Remember that thing? You know you breathe in it. You know. Drink water. <laughs> water is important. Okay. All right. So I had to stress that because my O's, y'all, some of y'all hard headed. You know, I know y'all the gods and y'all could be, you know, cocky and stuff. You know, we get along and everything. But I know you clock cocky because I got a whole bunch of cocky y'all in this house. So I had to spend time to stress to you how important it is for you to lubricate and take your highly beneficial herbal potion is in your meal plan. How do you get to the meal plan leak in the bio? The first um, four um, black bars, or you could go here. You got to put .org at the end of here. Salt of the Earth Pub .org to get your meal plan. In your meal plan, you'll have your at-home herbal potion based upon your blood type. So I had to stress that to the O's. Let's keep going. So we talked about the wheat. A lot of the O's don't fool rock with the milk and the corn. That, you know, that don't, it's, it's, it's an issue that's triggering information. But it's mostly the wheat because the wheat is in so much. Your bread, your biscuits, your pancake, your burger. You know, you could eat everything pretty much on the burger. You just got to take the bread off of there. So to substitute, you should learn how to make like, or, or even if you could at least take one of the buns off to begin with, oh, you know, because some people are like, uh-uh, I need my bread, you know, it'd be hard. You could lead them to the water, you can't make them drink. But at least take one of the breads off. At least learn how to make um, grape leaf sandwiches. Make sandwiches out of, since you need your um, uh, seaweed, make sandwiches that have seaweed wraps around them. Still, you still could eat your meat because you have a lot of meat that you could consume. That bread, though, that wheat is getting you. So here we go. The problems for the O's outside of wheat, outside of corn, is cow's milk, kidney beans, lentils, bacon, because they no blood type benefits from pork at all. Got to let the pork go. Navy beans, potatoes, corn oil, a lot of food additives, and peanut oil. And so when I say peanut oil, I mean peanuts, too. Peanuts too, peanut oil and peanuts. And so what would encourage the growth of unfriendly bacteria is if you stay on the potato. So let's see, it's a week, uh oh, just regularly going to a fast food place. They got a burger and then they got french fries, all right? Bacteria overgrowth start in the gut Remember how I was telling you about that same sore that possibly your hydrochloric acid could have caused and caused your own gut to bleed? Well, you go and you put some oranges on that sore and now you're going to have more bacteria growing into the lining of the stomach. You go and put, you put some cow's milk on there. I, I called it when I first started my journey, cow pus. Put a little cow pus on there, oh, and watch what happened, how that candida going to spread. I'm, I'm really saying don't do it, but but I'm being smart about it. <laughs> so cow's milk, corn, potatoes, rhubarb, and oranges is causing bacteria overgrowth in your gut. So you have to stay away from those things, oh, to thrive. So if in a nutshell, oh, really, all you really need to do is choose or, or eat all of your highly beneficial meats with your highly beneficial vegetable, learn how to make some sauces 
from your highly beneficial herbs, kind of like how I did the at-home herbal potion that tastes good to you. And leave really the rest of the stuff alone because you really only have 10, you only have 10 dark alkaline fruits that you could even fool with that are highly beneficial for you. Because keep in mind, you have a whole bunch of hydrochloric acid already. A lot of fruits are acidic for me. So you can't really fool with too many fruits because of that. Because like, for example, I say all the time, apple cider vinegar, coconut vinegar. You can't fool with that because your hydrochloric acid, when it meets the vinegar, really going to put a hole up in there. Really going to have you bleeding up in there, the perforation that you already naturally feel because you have so much of hydrochloric acid. So that's your straight and narrow. Corn, vinegar, coffee, aloe, and barley. Those are the things that trigger your leaky gut. Now, corn is a GMO. Corn really ain't highly beneficial for nobody. Corn need to get out of there. But your liver, your um, leaky gut could trigger, can be triggered with coffee too. Because remember, coffee is acidic. You already have your hydrochloric acid. So you shouldn't be drinking, drinking coffee, gods. No coffee for the gods. You already have a fire within God. <laughs> okay, you getting that? So no vinegar, no coffee, no boiling because of the leaky gut. And you don't want, leaky gut is just what it sounds like. You A hole in the gut. It was already bleeding from the acids. We don't want to put a hole up in it. We want to soothe it with our highly beneficial oil. oil. No coffee for the gods. Yes. Tassy, tacity, no, no coffee for the gods. Now, some vegetables are not highly beneficial for you. This is why it's important for you to know your highly beneficial food list. The link is in my bio. Because if you want to go and mess up your thyroid, you continue to um, consume your cabbage, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, and mustard greens. Yeah, because they trigger an imbalance in your thyroid. So you should stay clear from those type of vegetables. Now your thyroid needs iodine, magnesium, selenium. But these vegetables here trigger an imbalance in them, putting your thyroid out of sync, leaking to, leaking to hyper or hypothyroidism. And that's pretty much toxicity. This is just to say it simply, that's toxicity, thyroid issues. So none of that, none of the, none of those cab, none of that cabbage, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, mustard greens. To detox the body when you have thyroid issues, sustained detox is a really good detox for the old. Sustained detox is how I stop wearing laces, y'all. How I cleared up my anemia, irritable. Fluid field acne, vertigo, thinning in hair, um, my thyroid issues, my low blood pressure. I, I I made that for me. That was it was all about me at that time. I just opened up and started selling to the masses, but I saved my life first. This is how I know. <laughs> the more I listen to you, the more I know how to go to grocery shopping. Yeah, there you go. I laughed the other day. I was in a grocery store and I saw somebody that I knew and they were like, I'm just going to follow you. Whatever you get, I'm just going to put it in my basket. Whatever you get, just come on. We'll, we'll, we'll be buying because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I thought that was funny. So, uh, the things that interact with your hormones is going to be going back to wheat. Kidney beans and navy beans, right? So if you are having hormonal type issues, you watch those beans, eat your highly beneficial beans only and stay away once again from that, that wheat. So let's move on to talk about the O's, the things that the O's can do to release inflammation. Yeah, and I'm growing chin hair. Oh, wow. Start to detox. Leave the beans alone. Leave the beans alone. Start to sustain detox to balance your hormones and start to exercise too. See, another thing too, based upon your blood type, 
and this is this whole nother video, but I'm just sharing this with you just because you mentioned it. So when we get to like um, hormonal issue, uh, menopausal type issue, whatever, based upon every blood type, they could do certain things. And it's with my knowing that the O's, if they were to get to that hormonal place where they have those mad hot flashes or whatever, and I'm going to just say that you have the hormonal issue, maybe you're not having a hot flash, is massive but with the chin hair thing you know and with the thyroid thing that's hormones right there that's imbalances right there start for, for them what they need to do is to start working out so I would say for you to detoxing eating highly beneficial food and starting to work out because actually the O's or the ones that really have most of the physical strength and endurance, they're the ones that really be showing off at the gym. Because they're the gods. They don't probably understand this, but I could literally go to my gym. Every time I go to my gym, I just know who the O's are. You could just point them out. They overdoing it. Not, I'm not saying this to be ugly. They overdoing it, but that's what they do. If, 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 if we interviewed the football players, the, the little track stars, you know, and found out this here, if we open up a way where we knew everybody blood type, this will all make sense. You realize it's a bunch of O's winning the medals. It don't matter what color the O is, it's an O blood type. Because they're into conditioning. It, it would be very, very far-fetched to see an A doing this. Because it's really not in their blood. It's not in their chemical makeup. So for you, I would say, eat right for your blood type. Leave that wheat and corn alone. Eat in the wheat. When I say wheat, I mean beer too. And all of them acids alone. And begin to drink more water. Use your highly beneficial oil and go work out. Even if it's for a good 20 minutes, but do something real strenuous like a job. A job Cause that's in alignment with your blood type. Go to one of them cardio classes. Even if you have to leave halfway through, at least get your blood flowing so that your hormones then will get back in balance. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so to reduce inflammation in the old, guess what you need? Omega trees. Oh my gosh. How did these people know? <laughs> Omega trees coming from where? I need y'all to get this. That's why I talk like this here. I want you to get it so you can know how to save your, your life. Omega-3 is going to come from where? Oh. It's not that why I try to compete. What happened? Is that why I try to compete when I'm in the gym? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> and why me as a B? I don't. I, I could do my thing, but I don't like, oh, oh you, yeah, you good. Go ahead on. Because I ain't going to try that. Yeah. Because it ain't in me. Okay. 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 The liquid. The liquid thing. I'm talking about the liquid thing, not the thing you chew. The liquid thing. What's the liquid thing that's going to give you your omega threes? Because you got to get this. You got to get this, the thing that I was fussing at y'all about that y'all was overlooking on that meal plan. You got to get that, the liquid thing. The liquid thing. The lubricating thing. The slippery slope thing. Nobody over here know? No, not the water. Come on, they got it over here. Oh, God, it's just, just be. It's the liquid soothing thing that you maybe have to put up in the skillet. Mm-hmm. The thing you put up in the skillet when you're frying. Come on, you got to get this. There you go. Your highly beneficial oil. Don't sleep on your oil. Your highly beneficial oil. Yeah, you could get them omegas from your fish. But you also could get it from using your highly beneficial oil. Don't forget about that. That at-home herbal potion can save you can burst through clogged arteries, can burst through clogged uh, gallstones in that gallbladder duct, can burst through clogged kidneys, 
be, that are full of acids, uric acid and lactic acid, don't sleep on your oil. Can burst through that hard old fecal matter that's up in here, that's been up in here since you was a little girl or a little boy. Your oil. How do I order the product? Link is in my bio or you go here. Saltoftheearthpub.org Saltoftheearthpub.org In case you just get in here. This is the bio. This is what we call a bio. You get there by clicking on my picture. And on the bio is my website address right there in the middle. Saltoftheearthpub.org So if you just press that website address that's right there in the middle, you come to my website itself. And at the top of the website, see these four, is right, four black lines right here or links to whichever one you're asking for. Just a list is one link. Uh, Sustain Detox is another link. The Meal Plan is another link. The Meal Plan, the Herbal Potion, the Weight Loss Cheat Codes and everything else, Highly Beneficial Food is the last link. It just depends upon which one you're trying to purchase. But the link is in my bio. You're so welcome. So y'all got, got that cover, right? So to reduce inflammation, we're going to remember the oils. Not only going to remember our oil, but we're going to remember the, the seafood, you know, the fish. A lot of you will put in the fish in the comments. Yeah, that, that's important. Walnuts. Walnuts going to help you with inflammation too. Now, walnuts, you know how like um, Brazilian nut has uh, selenium inside of it? But you can't have a Brazilian nut. Oh, I'm just giving you an example. Don't you eat a, a Brazilian nut. That ain't beneficial for you. A walnut is your beneficial nut, and it's one of your beneficial nuts. And so when you consume your walnut, it's actually helping you with your brain. It looks like a little brain, and it's beneficial for your brain because it's beneficial for your cognitive thinking. It's beneficial for your omega trees. It's detoxing your body, so and it also has selenium in it. So if it's detoxing your body, that means it's detoxing that thyroid, which is telling you that you're toxic in this area. It has selenium in there, which that thyroid needs for proper function. You see where I'm going? So this here is reducing your inflammation in your head and throughout your body. When you find something, I'm going to let you know this here. And this is, this is over 10 years of research. That's how I know the ins and outs of, of the depthness of these items that I'm calling it out. Because I researched this here stuff. I ain't telling you something that I don't know. I researched this. I done ate it, I done, I done cooked, I done did all this here. I, done, I did all of the work. I promise you, I was the duck because I ain't going to be the lab rat no more for the doctor. So I became the duck for saving my life. This is how I know these things. And so when you find something that's going to be good for the brain, for example, cherries, real cherry, not the little cherry that we do for Thanksgiving, you know, with no seed that we put on the turkey or the ham, not that kind with high fructose corn syrup. No, I'm talking about a real cherry that have a real seed and a real stem in it. It is good for cognitive thinking too. It's good for the brain, just like walnuts. So we got cherry, we got walnut. Cherries help you secrete melatonin, help you sleep at night. It's good for pain and inflammation too. So when you have something like walnut and cherry, now walnut is helping for the brain too. Cognitive thinking, relaxation, soothing inflammation. You get where I'm going here? If you got something for the brain that's good for the brain, that means it's going to be good for every part of the body. Almost like me. I'm an Aryan, right? The ram, the leader of the zodiac. I and people that are like me that came forth during a season like me that come forth, we're into mindfulness. We're going to be the woke ones. We're going to be the great leaders. Because guess what? We lead with this here. We're always thinking our rabbit hole really, really runs deep. And so we have enough of power of mindfulness to, to lead the other zodiac signs, to be healers, to be leaders, not being braggadocious because we're not. I'm just letting you know how when something is very, very powerful up here, it can lead really, really well. Whether we're talking about people with zodiac signs or we're talking about foods that we put in our body that helps us with cognitive thinking and inflammation in our brain function. Don't forget that. And when well, I'm, I'm telling you about that because of walnuts. Don't sleep on walnuts. Oh. If I was an O, I'd be having walnut pie. Walnut, walnut milk. 
walnut in the middle of the day snack. I'm a bee. And I still consume the walnuts like that. Like that be like my little thing. Oh, I want me some walnut. If I see somebody on TikTok or something and they were like, what I was thinking about? Oh man, somebody tell me what I go grab a walnut. Cause I think about, oh yeah, I, I wanna be able to remember what what the heck I'm thinking about. Uh, let me go get a walnut. Just go get the walnut for the hell of it. Cause I know that it's gonna help them about cognitive thinking. You see what I'm saying? Like, oh they forgot what they were talking about. Oh, let me go get a walnut. Yep, time for a walnut. I'm sharing this with you so you can remember. Me saying it this way gonna help you remember. Yeah. Yeah, what about Brazilian nut? No, 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 not for the old, not for the old. Yes, you're right. Yes, okay. Y'all, y'all, y'all getting this? I do eat them quite a bit. There you go. Fall in love with them. God, I don't have a debit or a credit card. I truly want the meal plan. May I send you money order? Um, we can do Cash App. Cash App, but. But I guess so. You can do that money order when I receive it the, at the bottom of the. I guess you could. You could send it to the. Um, you go to the website and go all the way. Oh, it ain't, it ain't even here. It ain't even on that page. I'll update. I'll update the PO box at the bottom. I'll update the PO box at the bottom of the home page because it was there. It's it's on the second page. But at the very bottom of the page, they have a PO box that I normally have on there, but it ain't there. But yeah, you I'll, I'll let you send it there. Send me an email. Send me an email and um at salt of the earth pub at gmail.com. Salt of the earth pub at gmail.com. And then I'll send you um a, the P.O. box that you can send the money order to. We could do it that way. And and you can send me your email address that you want me to email the meal plan to. That's fine, if that's your only means, babe. All right. I don't know you, but I love you. Oh, I love you back, babe. Okay. So let's move on. So we talked about the inflammation, how we can subside that in the um, in the O's. Another, um, a, another thing for O's to um, put out inflammation is pineapples. Not chewing them, though. Don't chew. Somebody type that, please. Do not chew them because i did not say chew them i said pineapple juice do not you're welcome chew them do not chew them don't o's do not chew do not chew pineapples this gonna help you remember i ain't moving on until somebody over here they saying it over here you do it you do for it cool Pineapple juice only, she says. I'm not moving on until somebody type it over here because I know y'all eat. Do not chew them. Yes. Don't chew them. No, because your digestion with breaking it down, remember, certain foods inside of you can trigger your hydrochloric acid to just do, 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 do the most. Okay? But you can drink it. And by drinking it, it is helping you with your digestive enzymes break up. For example, if you had that yeast that was sitting, going back to that sore that I said that your hydrochloric acid could actually cause because you, you your, your fire makes stuff bleed and tear if you're not eating the right stuff. And then you put wheat on top of it and make yeast grow. Well, guess what? The pineapples, pineapple juice will eat away at the bacteria creating digestive enzymes but it's only the juice do not chew pineapples o's your stomach will hurt and i didn't say that and you just have a hard head and you you you, you gonna have a soft face when that stomach hurting because i didn't say that all right so now remember we were talking about the bacterial overgrowth inside of the gut from, you know, like when you consume your oranges and when you consume, you know, your, um, your corn and your potatoes. Well, to reverse that, reverse that, you need to start cooking with and using onions. Onions in its most raw form. Like, you know how you cook and you want to put your chopped up seasoning in the pot? Yeah, go ahead and put 
your chopped up season in the pot to get your flavor going while you're cooking. Let's say, for example, you're baking fish. You put it in there in the beginning with your little oil, with your little water lubricant at the bottom, your shake season and all of that. Your little squeeze of your lemon and all of that up in there. But when it is about to be done, you need your yellow and your purple onion because you want your you want the juice that juice that's in that onion is antifungal yeah it's antifungal so if you cook it up in the oven all of the juice and all of the minerals from the onion that you really need back again at this sore that you've created that's in the gut the sore the, the sore needs an antifungal agent and the juice from the crisp, fresh onion is going to be that and it's going to be antiviral. So the onion going to be working for you. The yellow and the purple onion to get rid of that, that, that um, growth. Another thing that's really, really nasty, if you could handle it, is kale. I think kale is just nasty though. But oh, seemingly... They like it. The olds that I know, they like it. I don't know. Maybe y'all tongue different too. Y'all blood different. Maybe y'all taste buds different too. Because I think kale is like the nastiest thing on in vegetable kingdom. I really do. I think I never tasted tire before, but I would imagine if just looking at a tire while I'm chewing a piece of kale, I would imagine that's how rubber tire tastes. But kale... <laughs> no more how about that <laughs> how about you get a good good gift for eating that rubber tire called kale because <laughs> i can't stand kale i can't stand kale oh my god see there look at this here kale salad is delicious don't do it like that there gotta be an old there gotta be an old talking about that. that that stuff ain't delicious but they they tongue different too you see that now we learning something new about the olds they got a different kind of tongue y'all <laughs> don't like that day my tongue like oh lord girl what is you doing now see i know i knew you was an oil or your comment i knew that because like like girl what did you eat now my tongue be like girl bye i'm about to get numb on you so you could stop <laughs> i mean kill right now oh my god it gets worse i'm gonna give me some rubber <laughs> Y'all going on with y'all rubber tires. Eat y'all rubber tires. It's going to help with that bacteria and overgrowth. Sometimes you got to do what you don't want to do to get where you want to be. Go on and eat the rubber tire. <laughs> I ain't fooling with it. I ain't fooling with it. I'd rather, eat, I'd rather get a purple onion and just bite it like an apple. Eat that, that onion raw and bite it like an apple before I get that rubber tire. I'm sorry. I'll be crying and everything, but guess what? I'm, I'm going to be healed, though. <laughs> Oh, you like it? Oh, bless your heart. Yeah, bless your heart, baby. I can't stand me to kill. So here we go. Here we go. To increase tissue mass. Remember I told you all that these, these are like the gods. Like, right? They're mean. They're lean, mean muscle machines. Like, in their, you know, in their prime. You know, when they're eating right and exercising. They're, they're, they're power pack fields. Like, right? So they get their, their highly beneficial meats help them to obtain that. And the w number one is beef. Beef. See, see, this is how you know, like, beef. Like, just saying the word beef and kale, like, right after saying kale, saying beef, my mouth is doing a thing. You see what I mean? So, you so, <laughs> so beef, something that I cannot stay in eating, helps these O's with serotonin. It helps the O's with dopamine. They feel amazing. Give them a whole juicy beef burger. And boy, they get to dancing. I have I have O's in my house. And they, man, they be dancing all in the kitchen. 
when the beef when the beef is being prepared, they're just a dancing and jucking and stuff. It's like the beef ain't even been transformed into their body just yet. They ain't even digested yet. Man, what that is? What that is? That's for me? You cooking that for me? <laughs> so beef, it's one of the highly beneficial foods to increase the um, tissue of their mass. And then they, then they go to the gym and they're ready to burn it off and then they ruin some more beef. And some more beef. They, 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 they thrive like that because they're meat eaters, right? Yeah. The fat from a ribeye makes my eyes roll back. No lie. See that? See that? They're they different people, y'all. They're different people. <laughs> this one here over here talking about these eyes roll back in the back of the head. And for me, when I talk about it, I'm like, wah, wah, wah. Like, I'm almost, you know, so this is why, this is why I be telling people that come in the comments and, say, and they be like on that doc, doctor say everything. Like, you can't do da, 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 da. These people, blood is saying, yes, I can. They're getting all ready. See, my, 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 my mouth is kind of like, I almost want to throw up in the back of my mouth. But those people over there, they're like, where is that? Where the beef at? Ooh, ooh, who got beef? You know, this is more than just, you know, talk. This is your chemical makeup, your memory, the genetic coding inside of your body wanting you or uh, wanting these particular things. This is why O's do not do well as being vegans. They always come back. They always come back because they end up, while not being a vegan, trying every fruit, every vegetable. O's can't eat every fruit. Some of them fruit are it. Then they try the, the, the vegetables. Some of them vegetables out there as a vegan is causing the vegans to still be sick. Vegans still have thyroid issues. Because if they mess around with things like Brussels sprout, yeah, as an O, yeah, that's triggering inflammation for them triggering thyroid issues for them this is why it's so important that you that you don't live in a box that you come out of your limited way of thinking as it pertains to one person telling you no this one this ain't good for you this ain't good for nobody that's not true because god has set god is all and just like we vibrate at different frequencies everything is energy frequency and vibration so every food, every fruit, nut, seed, meat, seafood, whatever you want to call it, herb and spice for the so-called healing of the nation has a frequency about itself that coincides with certain people's blood type. Just because it ain't good for your blood type don't mean it ain't good for somebody else's, yeah? I'm feeling like the grill. Look at that. Look at that. They're ready to light the grill and everything. Boy, I tell you. So to encourage your proper thyroid function... We talked about the um, the selenium, the sea vegetable, the um, the oils that's gonna help you, the walnut. All of these things help you with proper thyroid issue because the thyroid is looking for three of them things. It's looking for the magnesium, it's looking for that iodine, and it's looking for that selenium. Right? Thank you. Thank you for the gifts. I appreciate that. I love gifts. Thank you. Thank you. One thing that I didn't share though, one last thing about thyroid issue, to help with that inflammation, turmeric. For oils, turmeric is really, really good for thyroid inflammation or inflammation throughout the body. Inflammation, turmeric. Last but not least, to repair a leaky gut. We're going back to the onions. Onion, onion, onion. Yeah. You have onion to help to repair that leaky gut, and you gotta you gotta pay attention and not sleep on peas. O's. peas really does wonders for O's as it pertains to the leaky gut as well. Leaky gut, that inflammation in that leaky gut can be healed and helped tremendously with your highly beneficial oils, because there gotta be some soreness up in there. There gotta be some bacteria up in there. So we're looking at our sea vegetables again for that. Remember how I told you the sea vegetables that's in the same detox will help to, to, to kind of like make it slide, make that H. pilari slide out of the gut. So you want to get rid of what's causing it. The, the bacteria, the candida, what's causing the, this hole, what's causing this inflammation and move over to highly beneficial foods. Get your meal plan O. Get your meal plan, and now in conjunction with your meal plan that's available on my website, 
now you know, especially if you have um, candida, halitosis, peptic ulcers, you know what to focus on. I just gave you some focus. But outside of that, don't be one of them O's that, oh, I learned what to focus on. I'm going to just do that and then half-ass it and go eat you some pork. Half-ass it and get out there and do something that's on your avoid list that's, that was calling, causing, calling your name, rather, and get addicted on that thing that was calling your name. And, and, and you know they put in so much in the food to make you want the food more. And so you get addicted so much on it, and now you're back in your box of limited thinking, and you're on fire again. And you, 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 we end up rinsing and repeating and doing this kind of thing until we get sick and tired of being sick and tired, or we get a life-threatening dis-ease and disharmony. Don't let that be you, O. Oh. Get the meal plan and begin to eat your highly beneficial foods. Make a challenge for yourself. Well, you're going to just challenge yourself for 30 days. I'm just going to eat these highly beneficial foods. I'm going to go to the grocery store. This is akin to you conjuring up energy and conjuring up love for yourself. And love heals all. That's going to heal you. And you're going to feel so good about it. You're going to be to renew your mind. You're going to be remembering things. You're going to be jumping up and down at the gym. Now you could, now you be over there with the rest of the O's and you're not over there with the sick O's wishing you could and wishing you would jump up and down that they naturally do. You're going to be hanging with your little partners at the, at the gym again. Because when you are at your lowest point, oh, you don't want to work out. Your body ain't, ain't lean and mean and muscle burning machine. Now when you got a whole bunch of yeast up in there, you're tired. You're not you're not you you're not secreting the serotonin and the dumb um um dopamine like you naturally would when you're not eating your highly beneficial meat. You you just not when you're eating on your candy, when you're on crack, you on drugs. And the thing about it is you can't tell somebody that's on drugs nothing. Because they own it, they whip, they they like they you can't you can't penetrate. But that I'm I'm giving you the roadmap to what's causing the disease and disarmament, and then you choose this day. Which God you going to serve? Because you are God. <laughs> you God. But you could get bamboozled and go after this man-made God called high fructose corn syrup, called wheat, called corn, called beer, and destroy the temple where the kingdom of God is supposed to reside. That's within you. Okay? That's it for the old. Hey, free spirit. Hey, thank you for being here. Should I detox first? I always tell people, a detox is necessary, yes, definitely. But I, I tell people always, first, get the meal plan so you'll know the foods that you should be consuming and the ones that you should be avoiding. And you'll have your herbal potion too, which could kind of like jumpstart lubrication and in, in, um, in detoxing, right? I say that simply because it is here. You could detox and get sustained detox and consume it for 30 days and it could penetrate and destroy parasites working for you. But then you sit up there and eat eat um, pork and you not know that it was on your list of things to avoid. Now your body, you're confusing your body. Now your body will in detox mode trying to eliminate waste and then it got to stop the immune system. 70 to 80% of the immune system lies in the gut where the cleaning was happening. But all the immunity say, wait, wait, hold up. Wait, we, we was cleaning up, but wait, wait, oh my God, here comes pork. What are we going to do with that? And they got to stop. So to educate yourself first by getting a meal plan, so you can have a house already prepared for you with your highly beneficial drinks, your herbal teas, your highly beneficial oils, your nuts, your seeds, your, your beans, your, your, um, your seafoods. Everything is at the house already, your condiments. Every day is at the house already that work for you. So that way when you're on a detox, when you go open up the refrigerator, you don't have no other choice but to be detoxing and giving yourself something that's highly beneficial because that's all you got in your house. Do it that way. And I, I feel like that way is a recipe for success. Instead of setting unrealistic um, goals that are attainable, if you have, you know, be up in the refrigerator. You know, you got soft drinks in the refrigerator while you detoxing. You got some pork up in there, you know, while you detoxing. I, I, I wouldn't suggest that. Or you, you got some MSG in all of your food that's up in there, you know? Yeah, you, you know, I wouldn't suggest you do it that way. 
you got some coffee up in there. Yeah, you're going to drink your, your, your detox and then consume coffee and then put your body on fire again. And then the detox was supposed to be putting the fire out. But you drink the coffee and you back on fire because the two acids met. Stuff like that is important to know. Um, two different things. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. Yeah, two different things. It's almost like peanut, you're making a peanut butter and jelly spread. Tahini is more like a... um. It's kind of like peanut buttery, like it's a peanut, it's a healthier um, spread than peanut because peanut is not beneficial for you. So tahini, and then you got fig. To me, if you know, if they were together, I would say it's kind of like mimicking peanut butter and jelly, but the healthy one for your blood type. Your skin is pretty. Oh, thank you. My skin came a long ways. Thank you, thank you. My skin used to not be so pretty. <laughs> thanks, thanks for noticing. Um, I received the package for B. It's your separate package for the detox. Yeah. You received the package for B. That means you received the online downloadable meal plan or package. Yeah. So that means you received one of these at the bottom. Well, there's a second, um, there's another package that we're talking about and that's a stain detox. That'll be the second bar right here. So stain detox and alchemist, that's something that's delivered. That's a physical item. See, it's right here on the website. Sustained detox and the alchemist oil. Together, these two rid the body of parasites, old fecal matter, clear, clearing the cleaning the body at a cellular level. That's the one I was showing up here. And so I actually created a bundle with these two because they are so powerful and they're the most um do I have what to say? They're the most requested item. Uh oh. I don't want to take down with this. They're the two most requested items on the website. Oh yeah, I got one right here. So, sustained detox. I mean, I'm sorry, alchemist oil right there and sustained detox right here. And so these two items are what you're seeing in that bundle at the top of the screen. That's this right here. So sustained detox has over 102 minerals. It has the sea vegetables that um, oils need. It has um, <laughs> it has a high amount of iron inside of it that the oils need, which comes from their sarsaparilla root, which is highly beneficial for them too. It has a high amount of magnesium, which detoxes the body. It's beneficial. It's highly beneficial for oils. Every herb in there is. Highly beneficial for the old blood type. Every last one of them. And so, when you do that and you use the at-home herbal potion, the at-home herbal potion calls for a couple of drops of the alchemist oil. Now, the beautiful thing about the alchemist oil is that you could do so many different things with it. Not only are you putting in your at-home herbal potion to detox your body while you're lubricating your kidneys and liver and everything, you could oil pull with this. You could use it internally and externally. You can use this to break up mucus on your chest. You could, you could use this on your throat. You know, to if you have thyroid issues to soothe inflammation and pain, you can use this on, on your hands or your knees, whatever you have arthritis, right? Externally, and you can consume it internally, but you must dilute it. You must dilute it. Somebody put type in dilute, dilute. D-I-L-U-T-E, dilute it. Please dilute it. And so when I say dilute it, I'm telling you to get a teaspoon of your highly beneficial oil and only put three to five drops of this because it is very, very strong. It will burn you. I did not say put open this up and put some on your neck. Your neck will be on fire. That's why I just thought about that. Dilute it. <laughs> yes. Dilute it. It will burn you. It will burn you if you do not dilute it. Don't play around with it. Don't play around with it. It's very powerful. It's the world's most powerful um, form of oregano. And if you ever tried oregano, you know that it has a burning, tingling type sensation on your tongue. But this one here is it's like 10 times that feeling. It's the most powerful form of oregano mixed with clove. Clove they used to use in dentistry for numbing, right? And pain. 
So you got a pain reliever in it. You have antifungal, antiviral, anti-inflammatory, anti-parasitic, antimicrobial. You have all of these properties inside of this. This is why you could clean your meats with it. You can oil pool with it. You can put it externally for pain to break up mucus. Or you, when you put it on that teaspoon, regardless, you can put it on a teaspoon because you got to dilute it. When you put it on that teaspoon, you can swallow it and use it as a natural antibiotic. Or anti antiviral. Because when it go down, it's going to, being that it's an oil, remember when we're killing parasites, that's why I, why I put it in conjunction with the um, sustained detox. When we're killing parasites, them little critters are smart. Them little critters. Now this here can he, um, heal at a cellular level and kill parasites by itself. But if you only have these, this here is what I'm saying. If you get this by itself, parasites are very, very smart. And being that they hide and they steal our nutrients, while they're hiding, they done built a lipid coating around themselves that most doctors can't, well, they don't. They don't penetrate through. This is why the doctors tell you, oh, the virus gotta run its course. No, it ain't running its course. It's, it's, it's multiplying, that's what it's doing. You ain't running its course and it's gonna be gone. No, it's, re, it's, it's laying eggs and larva and secreting more and more inside of you. So when you give yourself back to why omega-3s and your healthy oils are so important, when you give yourself your highly beneficial oil on that teaspoon and you add three to five drops of this here, once you down it, if you have parasites or a pack of anything inside of your gut that's been gnawing at you, it's going to burst through that lipid coating shield that they have. And so now they're like, oh my gosh, I'm exposed. And what are they going to be exposed to? Oregano and clove. That's going to put them out like a light. That's going to kill them. And they're going to be trying to lay eggs and turn it over. But guess what? This is going to take care of the adults and the eggs that they lay. And so you'll see this in your bowel when you begin to take this internally. You'll see the little eggs, the little flukes, the little dots that look like little seaweeds and stuff coming out of your bowel. If you have the parasites up in here or you're out of your diarrhea, because when we get, when we take things like that, like the um, alchemist oil and we have parasites in it, then you get the liquid bowel, right? The diarrhea. And if you ever looked at yours, I don't know. Don't tell me if you did, because I don't want to go there. But you will see, <laughs> you will see, you know, they got some flukes up in there. That sometimes it look like, I ain't eat that. That's, that's a whole patch, a little pouch, a lipid coating pouch of critters that has been destroyed. That's what happens when you do this here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you for helping me out. Sort of the earth pub .org. That's the website .org right here. TikTok won't let me put .org. It be pinning approval forever and nobody ever approve it. I guess they don't want my website up there. I need that. That's available on the website. The black bar at the very top. It's called the Sustain and Alchemist Oil Bundle. I use this every day. I wake up in the morning. I oil pull with this every day. Mine in my bathroom. And I use this if, if and when I cook. Because I use it to clean the meat that I prepare for other people. I put water in a bowl with the meat. Uh, about five drops of this here, some coconut vinegar or maybe a lemon, and I just, I, I, you know, I swish it around a little bit, and I let that meat sit up in that bowl, and it kills parasites, it lifts off of all of that formaldehyde, it really gets that meat clean, because they put all kind of different things on meat, and I don't care if you're getting organic meat from the whole food store, sprouts or whatever, which you should be getting the best grass-fed meat as a whole, you still need to clean it. Cause it's just, it's just nasty, you know, it just don't be clean. And you know, you want to get all that slime off of there before you digest it. This is really, really good for that. I even season my food with it sometimes because they have a nice little kick. I love this stuff. This is my, this is like my favorite product. I love it. I love it myself. And when I get it, when I get low <laughs> on the website, <laughs> I'll be like, wait, hold up. I got to make sure that I got some, you know, when they start buying like crazy, but wait, hold up. They had three left. Uh oh, now they just have one. Cause I need, I need two. <laughs> I need two for myself. They can't take all of it from me. Yeah. Um, if, if that's what you choose, um, I just know that they have, they have all kind of other teas on the um, highly beneficial food list that mm, ashwagandha could, could never. 
in my opinion. I tried that, but mm -mm. I need the highly beneficial food list for blood type. Um, let me see if I can pull it out. On, I'm, I'm, if, if you have the list, I want to make sure that I point out where that where is that because you're talking about ashwagandha as it pertains to maybe stress, whatever. And that's another thing. You all like y'all get a burst of uh, cortisol when y'all get stressed out. Y'all, and I'm not being ugly because like this is it's my family. I'm talking about when I say this, y'all just got to go from zero to one hundred real quick. You know that little rap song? Oh Lord. Yeah, oh Lord, zero to 100 real quick. That's y'all. And so you do need things for stress because you'll stay up there and then all of a sudden then that, that cortisol go down and you're like, I ain't tripping, I ain't even worried about it no more. Like really, you just bust a hole up in the dick going out and you ain't worried about it no more in the wall, I mean. <laughs> and you ain't worried about it? You got that upset and now you ain't worried about it? Oh boy, go sit your ass. So for, for stress, for stress y'all have, let me see, do I have it on here? Yep. If you have the, um, the blood type meal plan on page four for the blood type O, underneath beverages, teas, and coffee, which you don't have any coffee, but that's what it's titled, that first line. Those three teas on that first line are actually Japanese herbal teas that Buddhist monks consume. That will get your cortisol level in alignment. It is very scary. Yeah, it could be very scary. All right, have a good day, detox spa. That will get you in alignment and be, you be you be so much better off. You'll be so much better off. It's so chill. It's so happy-go-lucky. And I, not to judge the people over there, um, anything. Where it's going to be. Oh, okay. Um, we were talking about that yesterday. We were talking about it yesterday. Um, give me a minute. But, <clears throat> but those teas right there, those teas right there will calm you and have you move out. You ever seen them Buddhist monks? They be on TikTok sometimes. And they be so happy. And I'm not to downplay the enlightenment. No. But you gotta understand, some people use certain tools and stuff, and I just be smiling when I see this one particular one. He be so happy, and I know he's enlightened. I know, and I'm not down on him. But he said, Buddha like you, after he said his inspirational quote, he said, Buddha like you, and so do I. And he just be smiling, and I'm just in my mind because I know about the teas and the benefits of the teas and that they consume them teas. I'll be like, oh, he, he must have had one of him. He had him a cup of tea before he came on here. Because I know the effect of it. My guru put me on a lot of those teas. And I know that they so soothing. I gave the teas to younger people. That, you know, my children, friends. And they're like, Miss B, you say you sell this? <laughs> you know, thinking that it's some other kind of tea. They're like, this legal? These people know what they got, Miss B? I was like, they probably, some of them probably, and in my mind, I'm thinking about the meal plan. I'm saying to myself, some of them probably didn't even try the tea. Y'all sleeping on the tea, and ashwagandha would never. The tea on your highly beneficial food list. Ashwagandha can't do that there. It's like everything is perfect. No stress. Stress where? Everything is beautiful. All is God. You know? Talk about peace, man. Yeah. Uh, so, Miss Barbara. That's you, Miss Barbara. Miss Barbara, you saying what's good for throat? So throat. Miss Barbara, you got your highly beneficial food list yet? <clears throat> I thought you was on medication. What's good for the um? So throat, Miss Barbara, gonna be is you? Is that the same, Miss Barbara? What's good gonna be the sore throat for the sore throat is for you to get off of those things that's causing you inflammation. You gotta chew, you gotta make a choice. And so, first, you gotta do your highly beneficial foods, your oils that's on your list. And I, got, I could call out, you know, it, it, I could call out all kinds of things that's good for your throat. I, I really could. But are you gonna do the work to eat right for your blood type? To heal your body. That's the real thing. 
Cause if you if you want, you could go to a doctor. They they do the patch ups. I'm really here for people to change their life and really fe experience total healing and wellness. Respectfully, from my heart. So so you know how they say in the biblical text, I rather you hide a cold because if you look warm, I'll spit you out. That's that's kind of like I, I live by that. I'm really here for the ones that really really need this blessing. <clears throat> Now, I know we have some little, you know, little leeches out there, little freeloaders out there that can't even put the finger on the screen and, and like the screen or nothing. It's here just to take notes, and they're going to be there. But guess what? I'm not really here for them. I'm here for that person that's sick and tired of being sick and tired and that's ready to do something that may may, may have a sickness or disease right now. And they're like, what you say? What I got to do? So, Miss Baldwin, my question to you is, are you tired yet? Because if you're the same as Bob, or you've been visiting my life for some time yet, and I have yet to hear what your blood type is, I have yet to hear the good. You always ask me about what's good for this, what's good for that, but what have you tried that worked for you? Tell me, because everything on that blood, that food list for your blood type is beneficial for you. Tell me how it felt when that beneficial oil went down your throat. Tell me how it felt when you had your beneficial fruit juices. Tell me. Oh, that's a beautiful gift. Thank you so much. Tell me how that felt. That's another thing. It's, this is a mindset thing. And so if we're always talking about what hurts and what's not so good. How? Tell me what you thought. Tell me what you thought when you last ate your meal. What you thinking? Oh, crap, this going to hurt my throat. I just know it. Tell me what you felt or what you thought when you had the last sense of pain in your body. Did you say, oh. Oh, oh my gosh, that felt horrible. Something sounds, something feels like it's, it's, it's breaking inside of me. Am I going to die? Or did you say, oh, my body is refreshing and re renewing itself. Oh, I, I, oh, something moved. I look forward to it being expelled out of my body. See, this is a mindset thing too now. Don't sleep on the mindfulness side. So tell me something good, Miss Barbara, is what I ask of you. Is there something good that's going on from you eating for your blood type? Hey, God, it's just be, hey, Orange, how you doing? Yeah. Yeah. It's on the meal plan, link in the bio, the name of it. It's three of them. If you have the meal plan, go to page four. It's on there. You got to want this thing. You got to want this thing. Yeah. And you know, and you know something else, too? I give, I give, I've given you all a lot, but you got to want it and I got to know that you want it too. I got to know that you want it for yourself. Because see, sometimes when you give some people this knowledge and you're like, oh, oh yeah, whatever. Okay. So, so I, 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 I could, you know, I could, I'm retired. I could just, just look, look, do da, 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 da. But then you have people that's coming and going. Then you got people that get lost in the sauce of by the wayside. And then I'm not really reaching the ones that really, really want it. Because if you want it, you, you'll know you'll be flipping the page for right now because you've been downloaded it already. Yeah, I'm going to be like you. I really appreciate you so much. More than you can imagine. Yeah, I need the oil. Yeah. That's my blood type went down from high to low. That's beautiful. I love getting rid of the waste. And, get, and getting better. That's beautiful. That's some beautiful thing. Should I combine all of the herbs into one tea blend? I have most of these herbs. Um, uh, you could. You could. But but what I like to do before you combine, though, take them, take them individually. So you kind of know which one really knocks you out. Like kind of like soothes you so much that you can get knocked out. Make you feel happy, giggly, or whatever. You know, make you just, you know, chill, whatever it makes you do first. And then, then you can combine them based upon how you feel. Get get to know them. Because really, really what I'm teaching you how to do is get to know yourself. Because it's not the herb at the end of the day. It's you. See, see, some of y'all, some of y'all, I got to throw in the mindfulness here. It's you. Healing you. So get to know how you can heal you, the endless possibilities, because it's you. It's always you, because life happens through you, because you can secrete these different hormones within your body by yourself. If you practice enough mindfulness, you have the ability to secrete your own dimethyltryptamine to take you on a trip, a euphoric type trip out of this world. It really is you focusing on yourself. Yeah. So 
Okay, thank you. I'm getting started today. That's what I want you to realize. Even when you have sex, this is something that probably all of you didn't have before. Let me tell you something which you're not realizing. You're talking about, oh, he was good and in bed and he da 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 Wait, hold up. Do you not realize it was your ability to open up to the idea of love finally? It was your ability to reach that high peak of a climax finally? You know, we have people talk about what this one did and this one did. Baby, it was you experiencing you because you're really here alone experiencing you i'm really your subconscious mind that's it it's you it's you healing yourself you're your savior you're your reflection you're the drug you're the dimethyltryptamine you're the serotonin you're the um ashwagandha you're the uh, buddhist monks herbal herbalistics it's you you're the student you're the teacher you're you're all experiencing yourself but you gotta wanna just like in a biblical text asking you shall receive you gotta wanna experience yourself like that gotta want to and when you're ready the teacher always show up so when you're ready to find out your herbal teas it's available for you you know how to get there everybody on this live know how to get there and then if you want to experience the taste of it to see how, how much a dimethyltryptamine you can secrete, how much a serotonin, how you can alleviate the stress hormones inside of you, when you want to get there, you're going to go to the grocery store. And then you're going to pay them for it. And then you're going to come home and you're going to taste that thing. And you're going to sit with yourself and you're going to experience yourself all because you want to. you got to want this thing. Instead of just wanting a cheat code for everything, put in a little bit of work because the more work you put in for it, the more energy you conjuring up. And the more energy you conjuring up is aching to the more love that you developing for self. Self-love going to put you up in that car. Self-love going to send you to that website to download it. Then it's going to put you in that car to go get it. Then it's going to drive you back home. Then it's going to have you boiling it, putting together a pot to boil the water to put the tea in. That's going to be self-love. You got to conjure up that thing. And that self-love got to be brewing real, 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 real strong. And then it got to penetrate inside of you. And it got to grow. And you got to be able to send out that signal. Hey, I love myself. For you to get the good things back. I'm teaching you how to manifest. I'm teaching you how to change your self-concept. I'm teaching you how to renew your mind when you think I'm just teaching you about herbs. I am not only teaching that. God forbid I only teach you one side of yourself when God is both sides. Experiencing itself. Get the, get the, get, get the full message here. And all you're getting, get an understanding now. So when you want it, you get it. Still here tapping the screen. Oh, thank you, Mom. Look at Mom still here. Hello, start taking my beneficial oils. <gasps> Look at Steven. Yeah. Oh, if y'all was here earlier, I didn't want to say no name, but this was one of the people I was talking about that couldn't go to the restroom. Look what he said. Hello, I started taking my beneficial oils with the alchemist oil. Now I'm more regular. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for loving on yourself, Steven. Thank you for putting you first, Steven. Thank you so much. I love the way that you love you. I'm so happy for you. Y'all tap the screen for Steven. Got dirty, got dirty. Wait, where are my little clapping hands up here? I done got excited. I done got excited. I feel so happy. I'm going to clap my own hands. That's my boy right there. That's my boy, Steven. I'm so happy for you, babe. For loving on self. Taking care of self. Figuring out what self was saying to self.